In this chapter, we learn how data standard helps to update metadata of legacy files, fine tune the dynamic property grid in data sheets, get insights on VDS's behavior editing locked entities, look at background processes and additional access points, allowing you to adjust or extend this command to your company's needs. This workflow video shows how we use the edit file datasheet command. Let's start by editing the file sheet. The dialog is nearly identical to the new file datasheet. Some system or general properties are hidden, but the applied file category drives the category property grid, as shown during the new standard file workflow. On the left hand side, we see the general properties, and on the right hand side, we see the category property grid. As I'm editing the datasheet, Constraints or custom rules validation run in the background. Deleting the title triggers the constraint and prevents me to edit the file by disabling the OK button. Let's make some edits. And finish editing. Validated edits update the file and the view in Vault. To review the VDS datasheet without editing, a detail tab shares the same view as we saw before for the new file creation or while editing existing files metadata. Exercise 1. Working with legacy files. Legacy files, imported to Vault, probably don't fulfill all company rules and configured constraints in Vault. Vault data standard added file datasheet improves the workflow making existing files compliant. In chapter one, exercise info's title property value, we enable the constraint require value for the property title related to the category office. In behaviors tab, open properties. Press T to easily find the title property. Let's edit the title for engineering category. Close the windows. Refresh your vault. After a while, the legacy drawing shows as non-compliant. We no longer need to look up the root cause of non-compliancy. While editing, the datasheet indicate violations. The tooltips share insights on the missed constraints and we can solve the issues immediately. Exercise 2. Ordering and filtering category property grids. The category property grid in file create and edit dialogs, as well as the datasheet in the detail tab, allow ordering the rows ascending or descending for each column. Administrators can define any order based on the labels, and also hide rows. In this exercise, we order the dynamic properties of office and engineering category and hide the application version and DWG type properties. Step 1. Open Vault Dynamic Properties XML. This file is not part of the default configuration. VDS creates the file once and updates it on each new start file, new start folder or edit file datasheet folder datasheet command. Reorder the XML elements by cut and paste for title, subject and description properties for both categories. To hide a property row in the grid, add the attribute hidden equals true to the dynamic property node. Let's add the attribute to application version and DWG type properties. Save the file and restart the edit datasheet command for the legacy drawing file or an office file created earlier. The new sort order applies as default but users may continue to use column sorting as before. There is no user option to unhide the hidden rows. To activate the new sort order and filter to the datasheet tab in the details view, restart Vault Explorer. Exercise 3. Review Vault access control and data standard behavior. 
Edit File Datasheet automatically checks out the file. If a file is not available for checkout, the dialog starts without an error message, but will no longer allow saving edits. The dialog title changes in this place file name read only instead of edit file datasheet file name. In this example, we review the behavior change, the state of the file to released, and restart the edit datasheet command. Let's change the legacy drawing state to released. As we edit the datasheet, the file opens as read only, and the OK button is grayed out. In summary, we learned how Data Standard deals with metadata of legacy files, order and filter the dynamic property grid, and how Data Standard behaves with release files. In Chapter 3, we will discuss the new standard folder and edit datasheet commands.